Welcome back to the Ajax historical campaign on veteran difficulty, Game Time 46. From Troy Total War, I'm Jeffrey Villado and let's go into the campaign. I was a little bit tired last night, possibly, when I was doing the last episode, episode 13. And I had a look at the campaign afterwards, and this is part of the problem when you're doing things live, which is the first time I'm doing a campaign live, like I'm doing now. It's fast to go through the campaign, but it's very easy because you, you try to keep up with it so so you don't tire the viewers. Uh, it's easy to make mistakes. So here, for example, I'm building this. Now, maximum, I'm going to need about two or three units of this. And the problem with these units is, is that they're not very good for the fighting they're only very good for chasing units down after you've won the fight most of the time uh, so i'm not really so sure i want to invest money on this uh, plus uh, this unit here is very good uh, so if you check it has 190 range that's about I think that's about the most slingers get. Uh, it has armor with a shield, uh, 45, so it has defense from uh, missile fire. And uh, what's quite important to see is that the bottom missile range is 52. Now, if you add to that 52, if you add from here the fact that you get 5% uh, to melee defense of so to missile damage of Locrian slingers and veteran Locrian slingers that means that with just building this building this will go from 52 to about 55 if we get another one of these buildings in another settlement it will go to 57 if we get another building somewhere else we'll go to 60 damage missile damage that's going to be pretty good having this unit I mean this this damage for this unit will also go up but this damage is 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 you know, it's, it's already higher. Uh, I mean, this unit is good basically because it has also good defense and good, you know, fighting abilities. So it's just a pure missile unit. But, you know, the missile damage will go up. So I think that's a better option, actually. Instead of going for the chariots, which, if necessary, we can get them later on in the campaign to get for this linger chain, this linger line. Next mistake I didn't do last time uh, because it was I was hurrying and it was late. I don't know what this guy's doing here, but I think we're safe. Um, here, I decided to go for this building. That's true, that's the last slot in the settlement and settlement's fully developed, but this has an effect on the whole province. Minus 70 to growth of this province, not just this settlement. I was half asleep last night, so I'm gonna go for this one, which has plus 20 to grow this province and it will go up if we continue I will upgrade this building it's kind of I uh, we have we have wood it's not a big deal wood is easy to get and I'm gonna upgrade this why this gives uh, plus 70 percent to growth so plus 70 to growth and what we need to get here is we need to get we need to get this building, which gives us plus three, plus five, plus seven happiness, plus also this pi, because uh, happiness here is, is has stagnated, is stable. So we need to get happiness up, especially because if we get some negative event that affects happiness, uh, you know, we're going to have potentially problems, you know, or if we have, you know, if we have an attack, they take one of the settlements, things like that, in this province, then we're going to be in trouble with this province. So, um, so that's how I'm thinking, playing it safe. The other thing that I forgot, last game turn, is, is this, uh, the Divine Will. So we can do a Hecatim for Zeus, but Zeus is already high up, Hecatim will not help. Aphrodite, however, Hecatim will help, because it will bring it above the uh, the fifty the fifty line so it will be at respected so first of all we'll do prayer because it's only going to cost us now twenty gold whereas if we do it later it's going to cost us thirty gold so prayer first and then remember back to Aphrodite not here like I did before and Hecatomb to Aphrodite 
So now we have her died at 110. Cup level up already. And the prey will take effect on the next game turn. Now is the end of no, we're not. Still not the end of the turn. Is it not? Tusa, how do we move Tusa? Fine. So let's move Tusa. And we have to do something with the priestess. Who's out here already? I think we can go and explore around the world with the priestess. Another thing that I was thinking about now, will that hopefully that will get us uh will that will get us ac whatever diplomatic access to the magnets. Another thing that I was very strange and I realized is if you go here we have total renown now of it has grown plus ten to diplomatic relations with the Danaeans faction wide. Let's go to diplomacy scroll. Well, what? I swear, last episode this was minus six. I'm not going crazy. This was minus six in the last episode. It must be a bug. It must be a bug somewhere. Maybe it was like some sort of update or something. Okay, so all the hassle we got uh, has uh, just some uh, weird reason. Okay, that's fine. So now we can do diplomacy and it will uh, make more sense. So have we made contact with the Magnets? Yeah, here they are. And then I can move the priestess over here to the Thessalians and eventually to, to Epirus up here, the various factions, the Kasopians and so on. Okay, so I'm not going to bother you with the uh, uh, trade agreements, except unless we have. So the Mines we cannot do it because they're war with Argos, Valergia, we might attack them. Nah, because it's at war with everyone. A similar problem with Athens. Magnets are at war with the Parabi and the Thessalians. Okay. We we'll just have a trade agreement then with them. I'm not going to sign an uh, aggression pact because at this point, I mean, we, they're not going to attack us. Yeah. So uh, the only other thing is, uh, this is problematic. I don't think I need to uh, trespass into the lands of the Minians, so I think we can skip that. So I'm going to do the uh, barter agreements and uh, we'll meet again when I'm done. Okay, the barter agreements actually were a little bit of a disappointment because yeah, I wasn't going crazy. Minus six, so what's the deal? I don't get it. I don't know what's going on. Just just a minute ago, you saw it. This was zero. And now it says minus six. And it's minus six. And it's minus six. And it's minus six. Minus six. Minus six. Everybody is minus six. Minus six. Minus six. Okay, what I'm going to do is reload that save, because I'm not going crazy, it's a little bit strange. I need to work out what's going on. Load.
Hopefully this will be a lesson for all of us. I'll just repeat those, uh, those things. Let me just check what's going on. It is minus six. What on earth is going on? Minus ten relations with the Danaeans. That's not just the Achaeans. Does anyone have any idea what's going on? Didn't say my didn't say here earlier. Hmm? Wasn't it green? Huh? What's going on? Okay, I'm gonna leave the game altogether. And restart it. You have to bear with me. Thea earlier on, and this was green, it was at zero. And honestly, I don't see why we have this one plus 10 to diplomatic relations with the Danaeans. We haven't done anything wrong. Yeah? We had military access with Argus and with Mycenae. We carried out the missions given to us. There was no reason the only thing I did earlier let's just check uh, so we did the prayer I offer wine and ask your blessing Aphrodite it doesn't give diplomatic baths Look at him. we feast to honor the gods a little up Stay minus six. I don't understand this. I I really don't. And you saw earlier it was on green. I'm really stumped. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay, let's go back. Do those things I was talking about earlier. Get uh, this building going. And uh, go down here and just continue the campaign. There's a bug there. There's something that's funny. It makes no sense. I mean, we're doing everything the correct way. There's no reason why I should be getting uh, punished for playing correctly. That's what I have to say. And if someone else knows what's going on, please let me know. If there's something that I don't understand, I don't think that's the case. Please let me know. Minus six makes no sense. Sorry, I'm sorry. It makes no sense. There's absolutely no reason. If one can find a reason, please let me know. Okay, so let's uh, carry on. There's no point. Waste some more time with this. Agent moved. Move hey. Philothea or Philothea I know the difference. over to the Magnets. Person here not moved. Tucson is a little bit unemployed. I don't think we have good terms with this. It's Dionysius or something. I think we'll be okay. win or die trying. Yeah, I think that's okay. So let's go over to the next game time. Pathicles of uh, was that Polydamas? Hector! Hector is attacking Achilles. Got him with a bone. All right. Uh, huh. Still minus six. It's just so frustrating. Guys, instead of fighting with each other, please can you go and help Achilles?
the problem is, uh, what is the bank? Where is the bank? You know, this is the problem. So I don't, you know, it's very annoying to, you know, try to do my best to keep in good terms with everyone and be always tapped with these issues. So the Magnets were non aggression. They are at war with these factions, Salians and Parebi. But they're in good terms with Thea, so I'm gonna actually say yes. And they might do a sneaky, these, uh, these guys, Nairis. They attacking Axis. Oh, we have more Trojans. What faction is this? Oh no, this is uh, the Legions. They might do a sneaky. Who knows? Why is he leaving? Plus minus five. I honestly don't get that. On target. He's stuck there. He's not going to attack. I don't think so. Minus seven, and we have nine. Let's and if he attacks, then we can get him with two. So he's not Since going to do it. It would be totally stupid for the AI to do that. What I need to do is um, possibly go and help Achilles against the Trojans. Ajax the Great. But I need to get better units, and I'm not there yet, unfortunately. I could get this one unit to replace him. Where is he? Might as well do it now, so he gains some experience. I'm going to do that, so I'm going to, going to recruit him. Then disband him. Get him ranked up. I might keep him because he was very fast. He's 48. Although these guys are 48 as well. So these guys will be the main fast units, these Marines, later on. Of course, it's also have this fantastic, dutiful Nefarious. He's, he's really very good. He's very fast. Now, how to disband him? I can disband certainly these two. Possibly also that two. That, that, this lingers and get better units. Okay, that's that's to do. That's for the future. Rena and Kanker. I have lots of missions attacking these factions. And we have things to give away. So that's one possible thing we can give away. Not this one. Not this one. Not this one. Not this one. But we can give the last one. We can give this one away. Plus it to happiness. It's not a big deal. And win someone over. So who do we want to win over? I think not. Uh, let's, go, let's, let's do this now. Why not? Uh, so let's put this up. It will increase our renown. Whilst hopefully, uh, hopefully it will not <laughs> cause an even more negative modifier. And uh, good available resources that you may receive from this faction. You may receive some wood. Yeah, it's not a big deal. And what will that do? In our reflex say just growing flame. So we gain some arena after this. We'll see how much. The host of celebration need to offer the prize to the winner of the game soon as celebration. That sounds very Greek. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Hostage celebration objective, a peaceful celebration, plus 80, well, it's not, sort of not a big deal. Except, celebration of peace, Beotians have won Achaean planets. It's fine. Diplomatic relations, plus 20 with Beotians. Gift us 800 good peace between Salamis and all participants. Whoever they were. Achaean planets. Ancillary lost. That's not a big deal. We'll get another one. 
So now we're in good times with the Beotians. Doesn't hurt, does it? Okay, there let's see no what we can do. I would rather trust with my life. Well, that's an honorable thing to say, other man. Okay, they're upset. We didn't give the climates to them. And minus five trustworthy. That's really weird. We even did this event. I mean, we're doing everything we can. Just can't win. That's crazy. Okay. Are there a lot more Sparta, Tyrants, Dionysians, Visions? So I'm going to leave that for later. Except let's just check. Visions, what do they want now? Do they want. No, no, no. None of the above visions. Do they want anything? Still, will not accept military access. So, I'm going to do these later. Zeus and up. Hephaestus. Prayer. If we do a prayer to Hephaestus, what do we gain? We gain morale of Sheila units, missile resistance. It will cost us 40 gold. Probably have the gold. Question is, are we going to fight any battles? I don't think so. Okay. So I'm going to move him. I'm going to move him over to Salamis. Just gives him something to do. And let's see what else. Agent. Philothia. That's very good. We need to move Philothia towards the Pyrotans, I should think. Although Arachius is like almost like a spy. Following the road. They make contact with the Dorians or, or the Pyrotans. Okay, uh, do we have to build anything else? Not there. Was not I building this? I forgot. Constant stone, uh, increase growth to the province, minus seven influence. What else we're doing? We're doing the influence. Oh, we're losing influence, so let's leave that. Okay, that was the end of that game turn, I should think. How are we doing with time? 23 minutes. Okay, we can do one more game turn. Unfortunately, having worked out what's causing the loss of trustworthiness. Oh, sorry, before I do that, I have to do the barter, so I'm going to leave you again for, for a moment. Okay, uh, we're done with the barter, so let's go back in the campaign. I never fought. Next game turn. The Athenians definitely look cooked. Instead of Athena, I could have called them Athenians. What is Athena? Okay. So, Diomedes. Okay, I'm going to give you a small gift because we have the problem with the last uh, loss of trustworthiness. For no reason. You want a lot of copper for plenty of food, that's true, but uh, I should think not. And what is going to happen is if I give you a stone for copper, you're not going to accept that. This is what I thought. 
So I can do then. That's how you feel about it. That's all you're going to get. It's it's not just my campaign. No. It's everybody's campaign. The Lelagians are up to no good with an army of 20 units. Speed is up. Renown Conqueror, class 4, mission aborted. Renown Conqueror, objective captured. Don't know why. Must have, someone must have taken it. Someone must have taken Trachis. Okay. Truest friend, deadliest enemy. No, that's not me. So we can keep building this chain. We've got money to burn, and copper, and and everything else to burn. So ah, and uh, we can upgrade this settlement a little bit. That would not hurt. And it's all going well. Uh, the only thing is, when do we get this thing? So we get this in one game turn? Though we get this in one game turn, that means that in one game turn we can recruit units and go on a campaign. Which means... Which means we're okay with happiness. A hundred plus thirteen, so we don't need more happiness. Here we go. Except, what else do we get with this happiness and growth? Okay, but pretty much fully grown, so that's that's fine. We don't need either happiness or growth in settlement anymore. We're going to recruit units. Very good. Very good. Um, Zeus cannot do a parade, Zeus cannot do anything for Aphrodite. We're not fighting battles yet, so we don't need Poseidon uh, basis. And uh, I guess that's it for this game turn, except for Portusa is languishing here for no good reason, achieving very little. Can't even gain experience. But if I leave him, the legends may attack. We will go down in history. I'll do it right. Minus four with trustworthiness. So frustrating, it's a waste of time. A giant among men. We'll need regular patrols. Okay. Next game turn. You didn't want to talk earlier on. Who are you all with that you shouldn't be? Troy, that's fine. Terry, I'm not sure what that is. Hey, Gina Pulaski and Amber. 
vessels. Now they're all enemy factions. Good enough, I don't care. We are allies, so it doesn't matter. Phyllis wants an aggression pact. He's at war with the Amazons. There's no reason to upset the Amazons. You can have a bronze chalice or something. Okay. Oh, don't tell me. Come on. I worked so hard to get them on our side. Defend Why are you attacking? You idiot. Oh, that Clamius was wasted for nothing. Okay. Action Sword. So, yeah. I lost the mission against Trakis because of that. So, let's see. You, you, you blockheads. Yeah, what with everybody now? Uh, you're on your own. Sorry, mate. That means we're at war with you. Might as well go and get uh, of the go and Achaeans. get fight this guy. I hope we don't get another negative modifier. Can we train? Can I get some good units, please? On you at last. Oh yes, now we're talking. Okay, now we can disband some units and get those good ones. The king slingers make room. Make room for better units. Make room. Defending the righteous. For Better units disbanding. Lord of Salamis. So have room for six units. Gonna disband here and be room for seven units. Let's just see who can recruit and worry about disbanding people later. So we can definitely get uh, him as 30. So how much? We have about 200 bronze or so to spare. So two of those will be 60. Two, this one, that one will be another 105. Maybe five units. One, two. Happy to comply. Can I get four? We can get four. I have to leave these guys for later. And one, hold. We ran out of gold. We can. We got. We got this guy's Ajax companions. We need 92 gold. Bloody hell, these are expensive. Huh? Now, where can we get these guys? We should be able to get them. Copper. We have copper. We have everything. We don't have food. How did this happen? How do we run out of food? Okay. 
Barter agreements. There is lots of food for whatever we have. Copper. Copper for food. I see. I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Yeah, this is ridiculous. What? They won't trade with us. Yeah, this is just so frustrating. Dependable, minus three. Ridiculous. We're going to go into the red because we are recruiting these units which are going to cost 156 plus 156 plus 281. That's 581. It's going to break even. Okay. We cannot hire more units anyway. That's what we have, unfortunately. Okay. For glory. Fighting fit. Servant of the gods. Make contact, contact with the Rabi. Make contact with the Lopia. And we can make contact with the Cassopians. In a short while. The omens are good. More food. Okay, and uh, I guess that'll be the end of this game turn uh, of this episode. Nearly 40 minutes 38. We're ready to go on campaign in principle now. It would be nice to have a couple more good units, but we can't. We can't afford it. We can go on campaign to try and fight on the side of Achilles. And we can also go and take on this Paragon here, Thisbe, and then attack the Bersians. The ungrateful Bersians. I never falter. Okay, Ajax. That was the end of episode 14. Thank you for watching.